Hey, this will be a video chart on HLNT. This is about the 18th millionth chart I've done on this, but um, as long as it keeps moving up, then it's going to keep deserving updates. Um, I do know the last time I did it, or the last time I remember doing it, I should say, was on this day right here. I can't remember if I've done it since then. I don't think I have. Um, but like I said, I remember on this day that usually a candle like this would uh, imply that there's going to be a, a bigger type pullback, but this chart has been the exception and not the rule. And sure enough, you know, it went through this little tiny consolidation where it went sideways and then blasted off again uh, this week to put in new highs. So, um, you know, one of those things where you got to look at, you know, kind of the overall picture. Yeah, sure, uh, the letter of the law would state when you see a candlestick like this, that means pullback. But then you have to assess, you know, the whole chart and just see how it's been pretty much a monster. So, you know, um, if anybody went short right here, you know, obviously they got squeezed out. So it's just one of those things where you got to look at the overall chart and just can't, um, you know, rely solely on one candlestick. And as always, um, even if this was a chart that, uh, you know, wasn't an exception, but usually was a rule, these sorts of candles need uh, confirmation anyways, which, you know, was never given. So a uh, quick little lesson there. Anyways, back to the chart. Uh, pretty much just going to put myself on repeat since it seems like I'm always saying the same thing, but put in new highs and we've been consolidating the past couple days going sideways. Um, you know, according to the chart, it looks like a pullback, you know, technically should be happening, but that's why I just talked about that because this chart has been the exception and not the rule. The reason I say it looks like a pullback may be coming is if you look during the sideways action, uh, you know, volume has kind of been um, going and going down, which shows that you might, you know it might need a little bit more of a rest. But um, if the chart keeps up with the trend it's been, you know, it's going to break all the charting rules and you know just continue to head up anyways. And the other thing I want to address was I had some people saying, uh, you know, there's a big negative divergence going on with the volume. Uh, this, you know, things are looking like it's probably going to collapse. And this was all said in private, so. But what they're talking about is, yes, the price has been going up, and then they're looking at this volume and seeing, but look at the decreasing volume over time. Well, the one thing you have to remember is you can't look at just shares traded. You have to consider dollar volume. As the price goes up, the price per or the cost per share goes up, so there's not going to be as many shares traded. Uh, let's just say, for argument's sake, all of a sudden this gapped up to $10 a share. You know, then volume would probably be really tiny compared to a day like that because now shares all of a, all of a sudden cost $10 per share. You know, down here they were, you know, sub penny. Now we're talking about shares that are over a penny and a half. So uh, dollar, dollar volume wise, excuse me, uh, my guess would be these days are the same, if not more, than some of these days back here. So um, if this were more of a kind of a, you know, not such a, a drastic change uh, type chart, then yeah, this may have some credence. But uh, when you look at the price of sub penny to up here at penny and a half, uh, you know that's not really too valid so uh, for the people that are you know kind of stating that you know I would have to disagree because at the end of the day it's all about dollar volume not necessarily the shares traded so anyways let's say this chart does decide to act human and you know does a little pullback where are the support levels what do we want to see happen well the key support level is simply uh, the high uh, that I put in a couple weeks ago which was right here at uh, 0.013 so with any sort of pullback this will be the ideal level that we want to see the bulls hold. Now, if this level doesn't hold, not a huge loss because there's still uh, got the 20-day cent moving average sloping up right here behind it. Right now, based at 0 0.009, but I'm sure by mid next week this will be up above a penny. So, for the people uh, that are wondering where the support levels are, the key ones are going to be right here at 0 0.013, and then the 20-day cent moving average, which changes in value every day. But these are going to be the two key ones to look at. Now, in terms of supports, or excuse me, resistances, pretty straightforward here. It's just simply going to be the highs of these two candles, which I think is, uh, let's see, this one's 0.0186, this one's 0.0185. So for argument's sake, I'm just going to say 0.0185 is going to be the next area of resistance. I'll make that nice and thick because that is pretty much the uh, only resistance. Going like this, you can see that, um, you know, essentially the charts in blue sky breakout territory, uh, if you wanted to get nitpicky we could drop down a resistance right here at two cents because you know that's where the uh, price previous previously was way back when uh, so if you want to count as two cents but even after two cents that's where a, a, a big blue sky breakout would continue because you know looking back here you can see resistances are very much few and far between overall though you know the charts continues to act like a monster 
I think I first started covering it down here at 0 .004, and many hundreds of percents later, it's still uh, chugging strong, consolidating strong. So um, as long as the support levels hold, which they've been doing a great job of, then nothing to really fret about. Um, and you know, if uh, the theme keeps up, where this doesn't really do much pullbacks. You know, here was the technical pullback. Once again, here was kind of a wimpy little pullback. Here was the next little pullback. So if this trend keeps up, you know, this pro level probably won't even get hit. But if we do see a pullback, this is going to be one of the key support levels, along with, like I said, the 20-day simple moving average. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big board. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free, so I'd encourage you to head to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was HLNT. Thanks for listening.